Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, yeah, so it's been a couple of months since my last update. <laughs> I know you guys are getting tired of me saying that. Uh, it, it's been kind of a crazy couple of months. Um, let's see, where should I start? Uh, right after I said that, right after I did the last video, I was all like, you know, I'm gonna do more videos every day now and blah blah blah. And of course, that didn't happen. Uh, so, <laughs> so basically, what happened was um, uh, I got approached by some people that wanted to, you know, uh, that I guess had a big interest in the, the project and want to help take this to the next level, so to speak, and uh, really get it into a serious production status at a much higher uh, production quantity than I ever thought of. And um, it's pretty ser it's a pretty serious deal. So, uh, so after a while of kind of going through all the details of that, we put together a pretty hefty business plan that you know we're presenting to uh, investors and stuff, um, and trying to raise uh, or get investment or funding or whatever it takes uh, in various areas. So, uh, it's kind of a process that. It's one of those that I don't fully understand, so I'm glad these guys do. <laughs> and they like the project, and they like the car, and they want to see it all over the place in multiple countries, and you know, really see it as a true big-time production car. So that's exciting and good, and we just have to get the right investors on board to uh, take it to that to that next level. Um, so it's kind of a, a process and all that, and we're, you know, we're, we're still working on it and trying to get, you know, everything lined up to, to make it really appealing to the investors and to really show them that, you know, this is a, a serious project and I've been working on it for four years and, you know, we're at the last stage of getting the molds made and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, so that's kind of where we're at on, on that. Um, then uh, uh, I'm still working on the car at my own pace and with my own funding and I'm at the stage now where it's just kind of moving slow because I'm having to save up all my uh, my own funds for all the big ticket items so now instead of you know buying uh, little quantities of fiberglass and you know body filler and all that stuff that I've been using to design the car now I need to get all the, the mold making materials and uh, the engine and all the stuff for putting the chassis together. So I'm looking at you know six ten thousand dollar components that I have to shell out at once, and so it's it's going to take me a bit to save up for all that, and uh, and especially with all the holidays coming up, it's going to be kind of crazy. But I'm still progressing and doing what I can, and until I can start you know getting all those components in place. Uh, and and all that so that's kind of why I haven't done a whole lot of video stuff because it, there, there wasn't a whole lot to do as far as um, showing you anything besides more sanding and I've done enough videos on sanding <laughs> that I don't want to do anymore um, and uh, and yeah so uh, then the other thing was I guess a couple of weeks ago or like uh, three four weeks ago maybe I'm not sure um, Google messed up my account. They didn't really mess it up, but they blocked my access to upload videos. So somebody, I guess, reported my channel as having some kind of spammy stuff on it. Um, I don't know what it was. They didn't really tell me, but uh, whatever it was, it took a while. They had to go through every one of my videos to clear everything. And so they suspended my access to upload videos. They didn't shut the channel down, so that's good. But I couldn't upload anything and um, and I guess probably what happened was like since I run advertising on the videos that somehow some flaky advertising got across maybe and somebody reported that uh, I don't know so whatever it got cleared wasn't my deal and it's all good now so now I can do videos and keep you guys updated uh, then on top of that let me show you what I've been working on um, which is right here <clears throat> Turn my camera around. Sorry, my camera's battery's messed up or dying, and so I have to carry around the plug. Uh, okay, so here's the door panel that you guys saw in some of the previous videos that I've been working on. So I've basically just been uh, making some changes 
uh, to the design of it, just trying to figure out, you know, what's going to work best and how it really needs to be and stuff. So I've gone through you know, various, you know, variations of it. <laughs> and I'm playing around with different types of materials uh, that are carbon fiber, since that's what we're going to do with the car now is going more of the direction with carbon fiber. So I have all these little test swatches and kind of what I've got here is a, this is a carbon fiber and Kevlar mix. So it has carbon fiber with uh, Kevlar woven into it. And what this does, this adds that strength of carbon fiber, you know, so you get that rigidity. And then it also adds that puncture resistance of Kevlar uh, and some flexibility to it. So um, that is kind of, you know, a useful piece that we want to use on a car. But we're, I'm kind of looking for some aesthetic pieces. So I have these, which is... Uh, the same thing as this. So this is actually carbon fiber and Kevlar, but the Kevlar has been dyed blue and this one, the Kevlar has been dyed um, red. And then there's some other pieces out there that are just fiberglass where the fiberglass is dyed black and then, and then the other woven pattern is dyed blue or red or green or whatever color uh, to give it that same look. But this is actually the real stuff because I wanted to see what it was like because we want to use it both as a structural piece and as a aesthetic piece. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, then I have this piece, which is a uh, all carbon fiber, but it has a uh, honeycomb woven pattern on both the front and back. And I don't think it really adds anything to the uh, structural rigidity of the piece. Um, but it adds the aesthetic look. And so this could be used on like your final layer, on your top layer of, of whatever you're building to give you that unique look <clears throat> if you want to go with a, a pattern like that. And uh, then of course, still connected to my cord, uh, I have some other patterns for the carbon fiber. They're unique. Here's another one that's kind of a wavy triangle-ish thing. And this one's kind of a diamond pattern. And then I have this, which is, this is actually a real structural pattern piece. Uh, it's just a bi-directional, real heavy duty um, piece of uh, carbon fiber. So this would be applied in multi-directions for really strong places that you need it. And then I have some more um, uh, Kevlar pieces of various types. So this kind of gives you an idea of what some of the stuff is. These, these are tubes. So you have a tubular Kevlar woven piece smaller one and then just different pattern uh, different weave types so uh, so yeah that's basically where that's at <clears throat> but mainly I just wanted to kind of play with some swatches on the door panel and get some of the stuff figured out the idea with the door panel is I want to keep it simple uh, I was trying to have like the speaker incorporated or a place for it but I think I'm just going to go with the simplistic uh, flat panel that's more modular in design so uh, so all this will be molded into the main door panel, but then the areas where the speaker would be, you can either put a speaker there or it could have a pocket or whatever needs to go there. But the idea is just simplicity. Um, <clears throat> so that's where that's at. Then <clears throat> I have been wanting to do some stuff for Kickstarter to get that launched. And uh, I want to do a sculpture piece. So I printed out some pictures of the car to uh, the scale that I want. What I want to do is actually sculpt a little miniature version of the car and, uh, and offer that on my Kickstarter page as one of the perk items and, and see, you know, that, that way it gives something to people that is a little bit more of value than say a baseball cap or something like that to try to raise funds with. Uh, I think having an actual sculpture piece that's kind of a modern art piece uh, would be something that, that people would be more interested in. And uh, it's something that I can do, I think. <laughs> so I don't know, it's going to be a journey and I'm going to make sure I videotape it. Uh, but, uh, but I think I can do it and produce the car in kind of a unique way and not be super, super expensive to where it doesn't make it very realistic. Uh, to have as a perk item for something like Kickstarter. So I don't know, the Kickstarter thing is kind of a sensitive deal because 
this, uh, it's a car. It's not like a video game or a book or a music album or something like that. And they have a lot of restrictions on stuff um, like this. And uh, I, I have to make sure that it complies with all their stuff and also where I, I can give out some really cool stuff for each one of the perk levels. And so it's been kind of challenging and uh, I know I've talked about it before, but it's been hard to, to get it all together. Uh, but I think I have it now, so uh, we'll see how it goes and everything. But anyway, that's basically it. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a uh, update on the stuff that I've been doing. And, you know, I'm sorry that I uh, haven't been doing videos on a more regular basis. Uh, I do want to try to get back to doing them more so. Um, but with uh, my work schedule and uh, trying to save up for all the big items, there hasn't been a whole lot to do um, lately. So, uh, so I'm going to try to come up with some of the smaller stuff, like say the sculpture for the car, uh, finishing up on some of the door panel uh, designs and a dash. I'm going to try to do some uh, test molding of this door panel once I finally get it finalized uh, to kind of get some experience in this and uh, continue working on that, the, the business plan and finding investors and I'll be updating you guys on, on that uh, when, when and if and all that stuff that happens. So, uh, so anyway, that's about it and I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Later.